Hey there, Steve here. Hope you're doing well. Welcome to another episode of What Makes This Core Progression Special. For this one, we have the much missed modern baseball with their pop punk slash emo hits, Your Graduation. And I'll be looking at the chord progression you heard in the intro and looking at what makes this chord progression so special. Like myself, I imagine many of you were captivated by this intro the first time you heard it. Maybe you even tried to learn it, or perhaps you even tried to write a song in a similar style. I know I have. Um, if you check out the song, uh, one of my songs called Friend, I tried to captivate the feeling of this intro. So what makes this chord progression special? First chord in our progression is this B power chord which is a, a B major chord, but we're just playing the B power chord, which is, you know, an obvious choice if you're playing um, like pop punk and emo styles of music. And basically what happens from here, from this anchor point, this is the, the first chord in B major. That's the key of this song. What happens is we have this minimal movement around this F sharp note. This F sharp note is contained in every single chord and then basically our higher note will either go down or up. And our root note, the lowest note, will change depending on what chord we're playing. So if we move to the F sharp major chord, we'll see this in action. So we've got this B power chord. Now we move to this F sharp major chord. Our root has now changed from B to F sharp. Now our high notes, B has now come down to A sharp. And basically now we've moved to the fifth, we've moved to an F sharp major chord. Go on one, five. B major, F sharp major. The next chord in this progression is a, is a G sharp minor seven chord. Now our lowest note will come up to the fourth fret on the low E string. We're going to come up again with our highest note. Back to the B. Notice our ever present F sharp note. Still going on. Now we move on to what I call the classic Blink-182 chord. If you know the song Stay Together for the Kids, for example, you have that F sharp power chord, and now you have a first inversion. And the same thing's going on in our song, in your graduation. This is essentially an F sharp major first inversion. Our third note here, F major chord, which is an A sharp, has become the roots basically. So essentially this is another fifth chord. We're playing the, the fifth F sharp major chord again, but we've inverted it. So it's very clever. And remember, we've got our F sharp note there going on again. Future editing interrupting Steve here. I forgot to add to this part that this chord inversion works so well because it moves from the A sharp up to the B uh, in the next chord in the E sus2 chord. So you get this te nice tension and release. So that's why the choice of this inversion works so well. That leads us to the last chord in the progression, which is an E sus2 sound. And this is the fourth chord of B major. And notice we've still got that F sharp sound there, right? So all in all, we have a, a one, a five, a six, a five, and a four. So it's a, a very poppy progression. So if I was to play this with full chords, we can contrast it with this minimalist sound you get in the intro. Let's contrast the two progressions. So to me, the second one has much more, you know, smaller movement, smoother movement, smoother movement, 
and it just fits better for singing over with. It works much better as a guitar intro in that regard. Of course, um, playing it as full chords, that would really work as like, you know, the when the song opens up, but it has that really, that's what makes it special. It's that typical pop punk kind of emo intro with very minimalist movement and with some, you know, sombre vocals over the top. All right, so that's it for this one. If you've got any chord progressions you would perhaps like me to see break down on the channel, then leave that uh, down below in the comments section. I wanna say thank you very much to the patrons that are supporting this channel there are a number of ways that you can support the channel you can find all those lovely links down below in the description thanks for watching until next time goodbye